My name is Kevin Coots. I'm the director of the Poulton Research Project. It's been my privilege for the last two and a half years. Well, this one trench is actually very good for illustrating what is in the entire field because this field is 55 acres in extent. But it's more the archaeology of a town. What is really important to know is that we're out in the middle of the countryside. And when you go to a town, the archaeology is far deeper, the physical remains, because you have continuous rebuilding of towns over centuries, even millennia. So it can be two or three metres from the present level to earlier you know, Saxon or Roman levels. So very much like a town, the archaeology here is very different than what you get usually in the countryside. It's very deep, it's very complicated, it's very dense. I mean, I've worked on some sites, and this site is probably the most complicated I've ever worked on, because it's a huge landscape not just a single archaeological site. And this trench exemplifies it. We've got All right. in there, slag. Okay, Roman context though. Yeah, yeah, Roman context. Okay, you've got more VCP coming more out. More VCP, yeah. What the hell is that from? Well, it looks like the knob end of a femur. We have over 75,000 finds. This is a com truly amazing site. What's incredibly important is, it's in an area where not much is known. We know very little about late prehistory in Cheshire. We know very little about the countryside of Cheshire in the Roman period. And we have this amazing rural assemblage, which is one of the largest medieval rural human um, assemblages, basically from burial ground, if not the largest, currently being excavated in Britain for the period and in the countryside. So it truly is of amazing importance. We're not just rewriting prehistory and history, we're writing a new book in a place that very little is known. What happens is we send all of our human uh, remains to Liverpool John Moores University. They are there cleaned, stored professionally. A lot of research is being done on them to do with medieval life, diet, causes of disease, injuries, and disease is one of the big ones that they're working on at the moment. There's several PhDs being done. All of the other finds, and we have a vast array of pottery, building materials, fired clays, metallic items, worked bone, animal bone, and remains of people's food. That at the moment is all being stored and worked upon. And myself as a pottery expert and other experts who work with me in different periods of time, different types of find. We're working to catalogue, identify, write up reports. Mm. We work very closely with John Moores at the primary university and we train their students in osteological um, techniques of excavation and basic analysis in the field and they come out they provide lots of support for us and they do research, they look after the skeletal assemblage for us and they research it showing, you know, they do the research on the bones which shows a lot of the information about medieval life that you wouldn't be able to tell otherwise. So it's a very close relationship, the closest relationship we have with the university.